What's poppin'? What's poppin', man? Happy Saturday, man. Happy Saturday. Today, I'm gonna go chill with my brothers. You know, we're gonna chill, uh, watch the Alabama LSU game. You know, that's that's very important to us right there. And, you know, all my brothers, man, my family and stuff like that. But we're gonna get into it, man. Men have to get back to what makes them happy. You know, um, a lot of times in life, as we get older, we neglect the things that makes us happy. We stop, like I said, we stop playing video games. We stop dealing with old school cars. Um, we just stop doing everything that makes us happy. And we start doing things that make women happy. We start doing things that make the family happy. We, we start doing things that make the community happy. We start doing things that make everybody else happy but us. You know, you gotta start, you, you gotta go back to the things that make you happy. You know, once you neglect those things, bro, I'm telling you, that's when you go pick up drinking, smoking every day and nothing wrong with those things doing them like occasionally but when you have to do them to function in this world it, it takes control over you you know it takes control over you so get back to the things that makes you happy you know start doing the small things that make you happy if you used to love skateboarding bro get back to skateboarding nobody stopping you all you gotta do is put some music on and go skateboard i'm telling you that's gonna make your day that's gonna make your day instead of always just getting the drink and chilling every day. You don't want to go through that, bro. You don't want to take that route where you just drinking every day to feel something. You know, you want to actually feel something by doing something, by, especially doing the things that you love, you know, especially doing things that you love because if you're not doing things that you love, bro, and for yourself, you're going to be just thinking about everybody else. And I, I love what Tupac said, bro. Tupac said, you can't really help nobody until you help yourself. You can't help nobody until you help yourself. You know, so until you help yourself, you, you, you can't you can't put all your focus into a woman, bro. And I'm telling you, most of the generation, most of the generation, they try to do everything for a woman, bro. And they life, like, they mental health not right. You know, so how your how your mental not right, how you not how you can't make yourself happy, but you thinking about how to make this woman happy. And this not gonna be your wife forever. This this like your girlfriend, and you going all out, but you ain't going all out for yourself, you know. And those drops y'all hear is from the uh, from these drains, man. So <laughs> it's not distracting me. So I hope it's not distracting y'all, you know. So, bro, if you love skateboarding, go pick up a skateboard and go skateboarding. You know, if you love like shooting basketball and you ain't shoot since high school with your friends or your neighborhood friends, bro, buy you a basketball and go start shooting. Somebody go pull up and start shooting with you. You know? If you love uh, going hunting, go hunting. Like, get back to the things you love, man. Th that's the thing about us when we get older, bro. Like, our problems start weighing us down. <laughs> Women start weighing us down. God damn. The sun start weighing us down. God damn, I turn yellow quick. <laughs> quick. But for real, man, like, get back to the things you love, man. Like, do the things you love because when you don't, when you don't do the things you love, it's going to take a toll on you, bro. It's going to take a toll on you. That's how you're going to be so caught up in politics. You're going to be so caught up in gossip. You're going to be so, you're going to be caught up in everything because you don't know what you love. You don't know what you want in life. You don't know what you want. You know, you forgot your love and you thinking about what this woman want, what, Man, look, never, until you bought like in your, if you got a chick who been there for you when you was down and out and you know, she stuck by you and all that stuff like that, cool, I understand that. But for the most part, bro, these girls you meet, man, don't be going all out and you forget about yourself. You neglecting yourself. Stop neglecting yourself, man. Stop neglecting yourself. Like you have to really fall in love with yourself, bro. You have to really find out a life hack, bro. Is doing the things you used to do as a teenager, the things you used to do as uh, when you was in high school, the things you did when you was in college, the things you did in your early 20s, your, your early teens. Get back to those things, man, because if you just put all your happiness, happiness into a vagina, you gonna fail every time, bro. Trust me, trust me. I'm on day 23 and I feel good, man. Yeah, I woke up this morning like, bruh, you know, every day it's a battle, but at the end of the day, I feel good, man. I feel good knowing I'm not playing the game. And the game is chasing. Can I? Oh, I have to get to know you first. I'm not playing none of that. 
Like, I I eliminated myself off the game. So the, so the only game I'm figuring out is, okay, how can I make myself happy? What things can I do to better myself as a man? Like, okay, what I got to go fix that I did in my past to, you know, to get over that hump? What what demons I got to face? That's what, that's what I'm dealing with right now, you know? And that's what you want to deal with, bro. You, you don't want to be out here playing this game, bro. Especially because of social media. Like, social media, <laughs> a girl could be a five, but she feel like she a 13, you know? And she got you doing all kind of stuff just to get that uh, that vagina, bro. And you don't want to go through that, bro. You don't want to go through that, man. Even even if you getting it, bro. Even if you getting a vagina every day, every other day, I'm telling you, man. You it's still gonna take a toll on you, especially especially if you don't know where you are in life. Like if you don't know where your life is headed, if you stuck, and if you using sex as a escape. See. You want to get to your you want to get to a point in your life where you're not using sex as an escape. You feel me? You want to get to a point in your life where you're not using sex as an escape. Like sex to you is uh recreational, is uh it's just pleasure and you know like you really living. It's not an escape from your problems. You know, even with porn, bro, like if you ever go back to that, don't use it as an escape. Anything that you have to use for an escape, man, X out your life. Because you don't have time for that. You know, we, we want to be like, shout out to Robert Green, bro, when he said, like, living in reality is the best thing, man. You want to always live in reality. Because if you got problems, the more you live in reality, the quicker you go solve them. But if you're trying to escape and you run into sex, you run into porn, your problems go still linger over you. You know, you want to face them shits, bro. I don't care how bad your problems is. You want to face them head on. You want to face them head on. And the best way to face them, stop having sex, stop chasing, stop pouring for however long you want to do it. You want to do it for three months, go for three months. You want to go for six months, go for six months. You want to go for nine months, go for nine months. I'm going for a year. I have to go for a year because if I don't go for a year, man, my life will be fucked up. My life will be messed up. It's going to be messed up if I don't. Because I love it so much. I love sex so much that I have to sacrifice it. I have to let it go. You know, if I don't let it go, man, it's <laughs> it's a wrap for you, boy. It's a wrap. You know, I ain't never with a year without sex. I ain't never I ain't never with a year without porn. I never I never did that in my life. So for me to push that push myself to that level, I have to. I have to. And yeah, it's hard because, you know. I got girls I can I can go see right now, but after after that, you know, after we finish, I'm gonna feel some kind of way. I'm gonna I'm gonna be really, really mad at myself. So why not? Why not keep going, man? Why not keep going? If my people that uh that relapse and like, you know, you just gave in, cool. Get back in the game. Get back in the game. Cause I'm telling you, like I always say, it's gonna be one day where you tired of bullshitting yourself you can bullshit everybody trust me i did it you can bullshit everybody but one day it's gonna come one day where you just look in the mirror you're gonna be like man you know what i'm just tired bro it's time it's time to do something and that's the point you really gotta get to you know that's the point you really have to get to man so i hope y'all have a good weekend man i hope y'all uh be safe out here and tonight bro because i'm telling you on the weekends it's the worst Everybody lit, everybody partying. Man, look, when you get those urges, man, put that into something else. Start learning something else. Start learning a new language. Start learning a uh, new skill. Start learning. Get you a coloring book or something. <laughs> Just don't go to it, man, because, look, you want to deal with these girls. You want to deal with girls who breathe life into you, bro. You don't want to be dealing with these girls who are telling you, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Like, hurry up and buy, hurry up and buy. You, you don't want to do that, bro. You don't want to be out here paying for the cat either, bro. You know? You want it where a girl is naturally attracted to you and she coming to you. You know? And she and she pursuing you. That's that's how it really be. You know? Anything you have to chase, it's not for you. It's not for you, bro. And with porn, this how you stop watching porn. 
every time you about to do it, you tell yourself, damn, I'm lame. I can't get, I can't get no cat. I'm lame. Tell yourself that every time. <laughs> tell yourself that every time, bro. Because women go always watch porn, you know. They can go probably, you know, they can go celibate, stuff like that. But they go still, like, masturbate. They go, they go still do stuff like that, you know. For us as men, we can't do that, bro, because... If you if you give in to porn, bro, always it just go mess up. For some men, they, they can do that, but for most men, like if we keep giving ourselves to porn, bro, it's go it's go mess us up, like mentally. It's gonna affect your uh, it's gonna affect your drive, man. Now nah, I got energy for days. I can do a video every day, every day. I be, bro. <laughs> For some reason, like on your twenty third day, but I'm gonna talk about this tomorrow. You know how it feels, cause tomorrow I'll be on day twenty four. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to y'all how it feels to be on your twenty fourth day. You know, cause like I know it's like you really want to fight. <laughs> like you really be in the mood to fight, bro. You know, but it's all it's all good. But yeah, get back to your happiness, man. Think of things that used to make you happy that you stopped doing, and get back to it. Yeah, we love women. They make us happy. We love them. <laughs> and they they really make us happy. But we got to find something outside of them that makes us happy too. You know? Y'all have a good day, man. Be safe.